my name is Kristen and welcome to No Copay Education. If you haven't watched our videos um, beforehand, please click the link below. I talked about what I used to study, how I passed, and I went over different practice tests um, of the PTCB exam. So in this new series, I will be discussing certain topics you will need to know in order to pass the PTCB exam or the Pharmacy Technician Board Certification Board exam. So let's get started. Hi everybody, my name is Kristen and welcome to PTCB lesson number four. Today I will be teaching you how to read a prescription and the signif the sick codes you'll need to know in order to read a prescription. So first starting off, this is an example of what a prescription will look like when a patient hands you this in the pharmacy. So you'll need to know the different components of what is on a prescription and be able to answer questions on the PTCB exam. If not, then this information will be useful either way. So, for um, the first one listed, the prescription information, this will always be located at the very top. You will see the, um, the name of the institution and then the address of the hospital or clinic. That's for number one. For number two, the patient information, you'll see it's right here, right next to the hospital information. It will have the patient's name, their address, maybe their gender, their age, and then maybe their weight as well. For number three, you'll see that the date is included. This is the date that the patient received the prescription. It may not be the same as the date that the patient gave you the prescription. It may be like a month, um, month ago or maybe two days ago. The number four that's listed is the prescription number. This, in this case, is not listed. But um, if you work in a compounding pharmacy, you might have a prescription number listed in this corner. Number five is the inscription. It's the name and strength. So number five is right here. You can see that what the doctor has prescribed is Losartan 50 milligrams tablets. So you have the strength and the name of the medication. Number six is the subscription, or it's the amount that needs to be dispensed. This, in this case, is right here, number six. This is the number of tablets that you need to give the patient. Usually it's in the form of 30, which um, in most cases prescriptions are for 30 days. If it's for a 30 day and you have two tablets that you need to give the patient, then it's gonna be 60 that need to be dispensed. Number seven is the signature. This is the patient instruction. This is the most important part as a pharmacy technician. You will need to be able to read the significant codes and be able to know how many the patient will have refilled and if the generic is used. So in this case, in this example, they have it all typed up in normal terms, but in some cases you might see the abbreviation. So you can see that it says, take one by mouth daily in the morning for food or for blood pressure control. The patient will be receiving six refills total and the generic substitution is okay. It's been approved by the doctor. And lastly, lastly, you'll see that they have the prescriber signature listed at number eight. This will be needed. Um, in some states it may be more regulated, but um, you might have like the DA number, which is the doctor's, um, their doctor code, just to verify that it's valid. And then let's continue. So these are the sick codes I was talking about. This is um, one set that you'll need to know. Go ahead and take some time to read through it. Next, you'll have th these sick codes as well. You'll need to know these. Here are some more sick codes. Be careful whenever you see eyes and ears because these are kind of tricky. So eyes are always with the O and then ears are always with the A, so just remember. You'll need to know these two codes as well. You'll be using this one a lot, PO, by mouth, because most tablets are taken by mouth. However, there are some cases where patients need to take it rectally or vaginally, just be careful. Here are some more sick codes. Remember that the Q is always represented as every. So you'll see it right here in these examples, every morning, every night, every hour, each nostril. You'll need to know these codes as well. 
And then these are the last zip codes you'll need to know. Okay, so let's take a quiz. Um, I hope you wrote down those zip codes or at least memorized them before we take this quiz and let's apply that knowledge. So practice number one, translate the sick codes into a full sentence instruction that will appear on the prescription bottle for the patient. Three drops AD Q6HRS WA. Pause, take some time to review your notes or review the beginning of my PowerPoint. Once you have it, go ahead and click play. So did you translate that to instill three drops into the right ear every six hours while awake? So right here, three drops is instill three drops. AD is represented as your right ear. Q6HRS is represented as every six hours and WA is represented as while awake. Next. Translate the sick codes into full sentence instructions that will appear on the prescription bottle for the patient. 1. T-A-B-P-O-H-S at 10 days. Pause. Take some time to answer this question. Once you have it, go ahead and click play. Did you get one tablet by mouth at bedtime for 10 days? So the one tab is represented as take one tablet. PO represented as by mouth, HS at bedtime, and X 10 days is represented as for 10 days. So I know that I didn't have a lot of questions provided, but if you would like more practice, go ahead and check out these links I have listed. If you have any email or have any questions, go ahead and email us at nocopaytutorials at gmail.com. You can always comment below any topics you would like us to review, or if you have any questions, comment below. Again, these notes were taken from my personal notes and from the different websites. Thanks, and see you soon.